Good morning and welcome to Holly's 11 o'clock Wednesday morning exercise class. Hope you've been having fun doing these each week. It's now our fourth week in July, so hopefully we're getting our bodies ready for summer. Hopefully getting ready to wear those bikinis <laughs> a little bit later in the summer. I'm just winding you up. I always do that, so I thought I might as well keep that consistent even though we're online um, and I'm not with you. But hopefully I will be with you again soon. So as per usual, make sure you've got space, you've got water, correct clothing, um, and you're just being sensible. And music on if you want, choose your favourite track to listen to. Let's start with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you for this day and we just pray for each and everyone's personal relationship with you. We pray that we would use this quiet time of lockdown or recovering from lockdown um, to really get to know you, to draw close to you, to read our Bibles and to really strengthen our relationship with you. Help us to do that. Help us to enjoy our class as well this morning. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Okay, so let's go. And again, all seated for the video, you can adapt and stand if you wish. Let's go. So, good posture. Make sure you are sitting up away from the back of the chair if you can. If you do need to lean back, of course, do so. But if you can really sit up tall, really engage all your leg muscles. So it's not about squeezing them really, really hard. It's just about a sense of engagement along all the different leg muscles. And the same with all the different arm muscles and back muscles. So you're kind of engaging yourself. Again, as I say, you're not tense. It's just that you're kind of ready to exercise. Breathing in, as we breathe out, connect the abdominal muscles towards the spine. Breathe in, as we breathe out, lift up the pelvic floor. So to start with today, we're gonna shrug the shoulders up towards the ceiling, holding lots of tension in our shoulders, all our stress, all of our anxiety, and then we're going to release it all out, release the shoulders down and just get rid of all that stress and anxiety. Breathing in, all the tension in the shoulders, in our body, and breathe out, and release. Again, breathing in, hold the tension in our shoulders, and release. Two more times, in, and out. Last time, in, and out. Good, good, good. So, for our legs today, we're gonna kind of do the equivalent of a squat, but seated. So if you're standing up, you can do your regular standing squat but if we're seated we're going to hold on to the edge of our chair rock back lift our legs and lower so this is for our legs we'll work our upper body a little bit as well as we kind of rock but we really want to feel it here in our thigh muscles so at the front of the legs at the top of the legs good so really squeeze those leg muscles so all of these exercises as they're seated, um, you don't necessarily have to kind of do them with me as if it's a class. Um, another great way to exercise is, say you're watching a TV program that has adverts, um, you can always do like a few of these little exercises during the adverts. Stops you getting bored of the adverts and keeps you fit. So you might be a person that kind of likes to set time aside to exercise or you might be a person that kind of wants to just fit it into the day without kind of noticing it. So that's a good way. Another good way is to perhaps do a few exercises while you're waiting for the kettle to boil. Um, that's a handy one as well where you can fit exercise into your day without really noticing. 
Although at the moment, sometimes it's good to set aside time to specifically exercise as an activity to do while there's kind of less going on. Squeeze those legs, four more, four, down, three, down, two, down, one, down, and relax. Okay, so for our arms, we're going to take them out to here. So elbows in line with shoulders, just have a check that they are. Hands in line with elbows, have a check that they are. And then we're going to go from this kind of cactus shape up to a long elongated diamond and then back down to our cactus. So if you've been to my classes lots before, you will hear me say no droopy elbows. So these are droopy elbows. We don't want droopy elbows. We want lifted elbows. We want to get rid of those bingo wings. So squeeze the arms, squeeze the arms, squeeze, squeeze. So no droopy elbows, long spine. So it looks a simple exercise, it is a simple exercise, but like me you'll probably feel it kind of starting to kick in and ache already. So we don't have to do many of this one before it gets achy, which is good in a way. So keep going, keep that tummy drawn in, keep the pelvic floor lifted, good leg alignment, good spine alignment. And even though we're working the shoulders and the arms, we don't want them to be like tense stressed we just want them to be um, working to work the muscles good four more four three two one hold there for four three two one and release Okay, so for our abdominals, breathing in, as we breathe out, pull in the tummy towards the spine, breathing in, as we breathe out, lift up the pelvic floor. We're then going to shuffle our bottom towards the front of the chair and then we're going to take our back towards the back of the chair and hands behind the head and then it's kind of like we're doing a sit up while sitting on the chair. So first of all, we're going to curve the spine, come up to seated. Curve the spine, come to the back of the chair. Curve the spine, come up to seated. Curve the spine, come to the back of the chair. You probably hear my chair creaking. Might be on the floor in a minute. <laughs> so the idea is that your spine is curving onto a diagonal, curving, straight, curving, diagonal, curving, straight. So that's the shape of the spine. Let's do a few more. Curve, engage the tummy, engage the pelvic floor, and diagonal. Engage the tummy, engage the pelvic floor, and long spine. Engage the tummy, engage the pelvic floor, Diagonal, engage the tummy, engage the pelvic floor, and straight. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Good, this time we're going to try and do it without curving the spine. So we go straight to diagonal, diagonal to straight without curving that spine. It's quite hard, so you might prefer just to do the previous exercise and not try this one. But the idea is you kind of engage, you come all the way back, and all the way back up. So you might not be able to touch your chair this time. I didn't touch the back of my chair this time, I just went to a diagonal as far as I could go, without feeling like you're gonna hurt your spine, and back up. And we're gonna do four more. Really engage those tummy muscles and up, this is a tough one, engage, and up, two more, engage, and up, 
last one, engage, hold it, up, and release. Ooh, that is a harder one, harder than the abdominals we've done previously, so really well done. We're going to do our tightrope walking now for balance and coordination. You can do this standing up, this is um, a good one to do standing if you wish. So you're going to take your arms out to the side like a gymnast or a circus worker and you're going to come up onto your toes and then one in front of the other and then the next one and the next one and back, back, back. So it's like you're walking along a tightrope. Not something I've ever done, not something I really fancy doing, um, but this is a good little exercise. Good for the toes, good for the balance, good for the coordination. And then you can swap and you can lead with the other leg. The other leg coming forwards first and backwards. The other one coming forwards first and backwards. And last time, and backwards, and release, and relax. And then just to finish, we're going to do some ankle circles. So we can lean back and relax, and round we go with that ankle in one direction. Get rid of all those clicks, and round in the other direction. And then the other foot, round we go. And round in the other direction. And then we go with that wrist round. And round. And the other one round. And round. Lovely. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out, reach down. And lovely. For now, it is God bless and goodbye.